Welcome back. Uh, we are here looking at uh, US indexes. So we will look at the S&P 500 and Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. And uh, we'll look at how this week uh, basically progressed and what basically we can expect uh, the next, next week. Um, you can see uh, that we have rallied quite substantially um, today. And the question is, is this um, basically downward momentum that we have basically seen, is it over? Um, maybe not. So if you want to um, support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So let's get into what basically happened this week. So uh, we basically fell quite drastically all the way from the 50 moving average all the way down to this 100 moving average. Um, and we bounce from this 100 moving average, which is at around 3,200. Uh, it was expected for uh, 3,200 to be a major uh, support. However, we're still trading underneath that 50 moving average. And as long as that is the case, I do not expect this market to go higher. We basically have to have a green candlestick above the uh, 50 moving average uh, for me to basically consider um, us to go and retest these highs. Um, the daily indicators are, well, looking more promising. You can see the MACD, we're still far away from the signal line. It is really negative. Uh, but we can see that there's basically a crack. We may go uh, towards the upside. If we have another candle like this uh, on Monday, we'll probably get all the way to the 50 moving average, but I don't expect us to go through there. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because um, I do expect this market to go lower. Um, this is Friday, and, and usually Friday sessions are very positive for for, for, for the stock market. For the majority of the time, the stocks rally on Friday. So I would not buy too much into this uh, green candle, even though it looks really positive. Um, as long as we're underneath the 50 moving average and not above it, I um, I will not basically I not uh, take it for granted that this move here is basically over. Um, because if you look at the weekly, we're still not at the bottom. I do expect us to go all the way to the bottom. So we'll probably go to the 50, go down, maybe test the, the, the 3,200 um, level again. If we bounce from there the second time, then that is a really good indication that we are ready to go higher. Um, the world economy as a whole, not just in the United States, but in Europe and in Asia is still really bad. So, so have that in mind. Um, if we were to break this, uh, this area here, we'll go down to, uh, to this um, 200 moving average, which is at uh, around 3,100. And underneath that, we have the uh, uh, 300 moving average and 150 moving average. So there's quite a lot of, um, uh, support underneath this area. Um, I, the maximum probably level go is uh, 3,100. So US elections are coming up uh, in one big month. Uh, so that will create a lot of noise and a lot of chaos in, in the marketplace. Um, before the election and definitely also after the election, if, for example, Donald Trump loses, uh, which is he, which he is basically uh, projected to do in a big way. Uh, so the stock market will will probably be really volatile uh, the next uh, two, three months. Um, yes. So the major uh, companies in this index, uh, also in the in the in the Nasdaq, were doing really well. Uh, and yes, that is also the reason why we had this massive gain of uh, over 2% today. So we look at Dow Jones.
We also rallied uh, significantly, just get rid of these lines here. We also rallied quite significantly. We have a little bit of pullback here. And still, we are similar to the, uh, to the S&P 500 trading between these averages. And we have a lot of uh, resistance right here. Um, we saw uh, on Wednesday, we tried to basically rally and then broke down again as well. The same goes for Thursday. Uh, and now also on Friday, we're not even close to this moving average, but I do expect us to get close there and then break down again. Um, uh, whether or not we go higher, probably. Uh, there's It's very uncertain at the moment. We have just as much resistance in, in this area as we have support underneath. At some point, it will break to the upside or it will break to the downside. Um, if we look at a weekly, it shows that um, we have downwards momentum. So we, even though we have a very good uh, day today, does not mean that this move here is over. We probably we could have three candle green candlesticks up to the to these moving averages and then break again down to the these average the moving averages. Um, as long as we are here, just stay away from this market. If we break above uh, these moving averages, then that is a sign that we'll go higher. If we break through this area here, that will indicate that we'll go lower. If you look at the NASDAQ, we ran into support at these three moving averages. Um, and at this point, I do expect on Monday that we will basically drop significantly. It is very similar to uh, the other indexes. Um, in order for us to go higher, we need a green candlestick above this area here. And this is not very encouraging. This is the weekly stochastic and it's basically pointing straight down. So even though that we rallied today, uh, I do expect us to at least test this 100 moving average, which is around 10,547. Um, the dailies for, for indicators are, are promising. That's also, we're quite far away from the, the, from the signal line in the MACD, but uh, RSI is pointed to upward momentum. But I still think that we'll, we'll have to go and test this uh, 100 moving average before we ever go and break through these moving averages. If we were to break the 100 moving average, then we'll go all the way down to 10,000. Um, yes, this move was expected. As we basically say, this is one of the biggest rallies the NASDAQ has ever, ever done. It's probably the biggest rally the NASDAQ has ever done. It went from the bottom to the top uh, and it basically gained 83.69%. Uh, 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 within only a matter of four months. And uh, when you consider that most of these indexes average uh, a year uh, of uh, around 9% growth, that is just a ridiculous increase in only a matter of four months. So a pullback was expected. It may be, not be as drastic at this as this one, as we can see. We probably stay within this area for quite a long time. Uh, we can expect something, this market just to to grind to the side, getting these averages closer, getting market more stable, and then we continue grinding slowly to the upside. That is the scenario. Um, we could also break this 100 moving average and then collapse all the way to the uh, um, to the 10,000 level. Um, that could also happen. The worst thing I think could happen is that we just go parabolic again, similar to this move, because that will only mean that we will have a complete crash similar to this uh, two three months um, into the future. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the bell button and the like button and uh, good weekend and uh, see you next week.